So this question starts off by giving us a system of equations here. The question goes on to say, for each real number r, which of the following points lies on the graph of each equation in the xy plane for the given system? So we have this r variable that is being introduced here. We're not really given any details about it. Um, so I'm going to look at the answer choices and see if I can figure out any patterns here that might help me figure out how to use r. So choice A, I don't really see how, I mean, I see a 7 here, which I see a 7 there. I see a 35 here. So it looks like maybe this is using both equations. I'm not really sure. Um, but, you know, looking at B, C, and D, scanning down to those, I actually see some answer choices that I prefer to start off with to help me po possibly understand this a bit better. And I like B because it's just an R there in terms of my Y value, right? So in essence, this would be a scenario in which Y equals R, and under that situation, if Y equals R, the question becomes, what does X equal? And if X equals what is here, then choice B is correct, right? So for choice C, for instance, we have X equals R, right? We have the exact opposite. We have X, we have R in the X position. So if X equals R, then all we'd be trying to figure out is what does Y equal for both of these? And if Y equals, not Y equals R, Y equals question mark, if Y equaled what is provided here in the Y position of the ordered pair, then that would be the correct answer. So let's try B first. So B, again, we're saying this, question, this answer is telling us that Y equals R. Um, I see 3, 2, and 7 here, which means I'm going to use this first equation in order to plug my y equals r in instead of using the second equation. So I start off with a 2x plus 3y equals 7. I'm going to turn that into a 2x plus 3r equals 7, again, because y equals r. And now I'm going to solve for... I'm solving for x, right? I want to know what x is. So I'm going to subtract 3r from both sides here. I have 2x equals negative 3r plus 7. I want to then divide everything by 2. And I'm left with x equals negative 3r over 2 plus 7 over 2. Is that what choice B tells me x should equal? Yes, it is, right? It does, in fact, tell me negative 3r over 2 plus 7 over 2. So that means B is the correct answer, right? Um, I could try choice C and D if you just want to see that. If you want to prove to yourself that B is a great answer. Um, for choice C, for instance, again, we're saying that X equals R, and we want to know what Y equals. So let's see what happens when X is R. So I would start off with 2X plus 3Y equals 7, but that would turn into 2R equals, I'm sorry, 2R plus 3Y equals 7. I subtract... What am I solving for? I'm solving for y. So I'm actually going to subtract 2r from both sides. And I'm left with 3y equals negative 2r plus 7. I divide everything by 3 in order to isolate my y. And I have y equals negative 2r over 3 plus 7 over 3. And is that what choice C says? No, it's close, right? We have a positive 2r over 3 instead of a negative 2r over 3, so that's out. And then choice D, we have negative 3r over 2 instead of 2r over 3, so that's out, right? So I'm pretty confident that B is the right answer. I still don't really know what to do with A. I don't like that I have r's in both places. It's kind of a weird question, not typical to what I would am used to seeing on the paper and pencil SAT, so probably just something to get used to for the digital SAT. But I like this method, right? They do, I'm thinking of this as like, the test is giving us a hint. Hey, choice B is saying, what happens when Y equals R? <laughs> Let's see what X is, right? And choice C and D are saying, hey, what happens when X equals R? Let's see what Y is. And let's really turn this into a matching game instead of a typical traditional math question.